the purposes of God for our life they are well spelled out they are laid out but we must intentionally begin to press in this season because I know I know that God is doing a new thing I know that God is handling new scepters of authority to men and we I know nameless people will begin to emerge and I know that people who have been training quietly that nobody knows people who have been honoring the laws of God in their secret place a season of visibility is coming unfortunately whether you are prepared or not that season will come and when the when the season comes and you are not prepared the stage that is supposed to be for your honor will become a platform of shame there is already a time in the calendar of the divine a season called by this time so there is a particular appraisal God will come and do for every person he has allotted greatness to. He will come and check whether this tree has begun to bear fruit. And when he comes and check and you just have leaves, and this is what many of us are doing, you think you can hide pretense and fakeness for long. A time will come when they will use fruit as the test and you will fail because green leaves can make people think you are part of us. Green leaves, you would, hey, utterance, you will be talking like you are a rod of fire but the day they want to check you they will check the people who come out from your loin do we have people who are stable do we have believers who are living accurately with God when they find out that everybody that comes from your loin everybody is sick with one infirmity or another is a sign of the tree that bear it mind you you will not actually know yet that you can become a worker for Satan you can stand on the pulpit and what you are actually working for is Satan. It is through you that corruption is permeating the souls of men. It is because of you that certain people don't know why they cannot live free. Because you too, you cannot attempt, you cannot attempt to that secret compromise that is in your life. And Satan wants you to continue. Continue. After 40 years, you will raise sick, sick believers. Sick believers. And the day they will open your book, they will call you a worker but you are a worker of iniquity what you did was that it was because of you many people did not ever rise up to their true potential satan has more pastors than god satan has more ministers than god satan continues to hide their infirmity satan even wants to help you hide it because there is a place of spiritual dynamics where satan is interested in having undercover agents who will parade as lights the bible spoke concerning a dragon in revelation he says he came in the visage of a sheep but when he speak that was it was the voice that they used to discern who he was you will not know yet what you are advocating you know you wake up and say it's my life I'm living my best life something as little as your dressing that callous way you dressed you were exposing everything and say you are slain yes you are slain you are sending men to hell nobody have entered heaven because of you yet hell has a good record you are one of their mightiest apostles. You don't know yet where they will begin to fetch the account of your faithfulness from. On that day, you will be faithful. It's only a question of which realm were you faithful to. On that day, you will be a servant. It's only a question of who did you serve. Every choice, every thought, everything will be brought into judgment. I'm saying this because there are too many of us sitting here. You think your life is your own. It's not your own. It was bought. It's not your own again. That, 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 that way you want to live another government will suppress your will so that for you to live now is Christ is Christ 